Hey guys, hope everybody had a good week. Uh, the protest last weekend went very well. About 6,000 people uh, showed up as well as... Uh, oh, I thought the kids were eating flowers, but they're not. Um, as well as some government officials, I know that the mayor was there and some of our uh, legislators, so that was really good. Nothing bad happened, nothing got out of hand. You know, there are the uh, protesters against um, gay marriage and for Proposition 8 on the corners, um, but nobody really paid them any attention. Um, but, so this dream. We were here in Seattle, and actually we were living in the house that I grew up in. Only it was here in Seattle, it wasn't in Kansas. And my parents were there for whatever reason, I don't know, but they really weren't in the dream, I just knew that they were there. And when you walked into the door, there's some stairs that go up to the main area, but then there's this big wall. And we had pictures all over the wall, but for some reason, in this dream, we only had one itty bitty picture. Like maybe like a five by seven, right smack in the middle of the wall. And I couldn't figure out why um, the picture was there. But everybody, all of you guys started to started coming in the house, and um, I had to get food. And this Susan, Tunisian's wife, had dreams about me visiting with food. But everybody was coming, and I couldn't figure out what to, um, what to make everybody because they're coming for lunch. And I went through my cupboards, and we didn't have anything, and all we had was a freezer full of steak. So I thought, okay, I'll just make steak. And so I was making steak, and people were coming around the table, and I was saying, you know, what would you like to drink? Just help yourself. Everything is in the uh, refrigerator. And then halfway through, I realized that we didn't have much to drink in the refrigerator even. And uh, Beth. Beth, you said you needed something to drink, so I put you, I showed you where the refrigerator was, and I didn't pay you any mind. And as Beth was getting in the refrigerator, somebody came back and they didn't want their steak. So I thought, I don't have very much steak, so I just took the steak off that plate and put it on a different plate and gave it to somebody else. And um, everybody was eating, and I was rushing around and trying to get ready because we're going somewhere. And Beth says, I'm done eating. And got it from the table, and she had like a monster drink and then two or three other drinks and they were all opened and they were she barely even drank anything and I was like so upset about that because I knew we didn't have very much to drink and then there's these two burly gay guys and they were going through the house and they were taking notes on their notepad and then finally I was like okay guys we have to go we have to go to Vancouver and um, it's, it's like two and a half hours and, and everyone's like what? Said, yes, it's about a two and a half hour you know, trip if we're going to go today, we need to go. Like, we're not going to Vancouver. We're going to take a tour of Canada. And the flight leaves at 3 o'clock. I was like, you didn't tell me we were going to take a plane. I'm like, yeah, we're going to take a plane. I was so upset because I didn't have a plane ticket. I thought we were just going to go to Vancouver. So I was rushing around trying to find a plane ticket, and then I woke up. And that was it. Um, I had a good week. Other than that, though, um, oh, some news on the job front. Yeah, I didn't get fired, but one of our coworkers got fired, and it was really messy. Um, yeah, the company I work with just doesn't, they don't have any sort of, I don't know, feeling of responsibility, they're very uncouth. We had known that something was going, going on. And so last, well, I guess it was last Wednesday, uh, our our Planet Technologies manager every once in a while has a one-on-one -on -one where she just wants to touch base with us or whatever. So it was me first. Um, well, actually, it's Pamela, and then myself, and then my other coworker. And Pamela's was in the morning. Then it was me, and then it was my um, kid, my other coworker. And so I went in, and then they let us know that you know we're not going. You know, we'll make some changes, and Pamela won't be with us. Um, starting in December, and you know, whatever, and I, I knew that something was going on, so I just kind of took it in stride. Come to find out, they told Pamela right before they told us, and didn't give her any sort of notice, and then they were telling everybody. And, you know, you really, you really don't do that. You tell somebody, and then you, like, let them tell everybody else. That's not the way it worked. 
you know, they, they said that we couldn't, you know, they couldn't use her anymore because her skill set wasn't up to par. She had been there for three years, you know, and they were making some changes. So today we were, um, you know, talking. They're not even giving her um, unemployment. What's up with that? I know you don't have to give unemployment, but they're saying that they were, they fired her. They didn't let her go. It's crazy. I need to get out of there. Yeah. So, Kayla and myself are both looking for jobs. And then Pamela leaves, there's going to be two of us, and there's going to be some other guy who comes in. And of course, Kayla and I have to train him because, you know, Planet doesn't train people. It's up to us. <sighs> All I know is that next time, or next year at this time, I will hopefully have a job that is, that is good. I had a couple years of icky jobs. Um, but, you know, I can't complain. I have a job, right? I know many people don't have jobs, and I have a job, so I'm really not going to complain. I'm just going to keep my ear out for the next opportunity. Uh, hope everybody has a great weekend, and I will talk to you later. Okay, guys. Bye.